this way. Stay over this way. Go, 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 go. Come on. Stay on the bag. Chase the bag. Come on. Stay on the bag. Slow it down. Slow it down. Keep punching. What you doing? I can't remember a day without punching and kicking. And if you would ask my mother, she would tell you that uh, I believe when I was, I was three years old, her best friend tried to pick me up and I gave her a kick. <laughs> and she said, he needs to go into a karate class. All right, speed on the next bell. Here we go. I grew up in West Baltimore, and it was uh, at that time, um, 70s and 80s. It was it was uh, it was pretty rough. You know, I had my uh, first real and only, uh, I should say, uh, altercation. I got jumped by 13 guys at one time, only because I had a fight with one, argument with one guy. Luckily, they didn't know how to fight, and I knew how to run. I don't know whether it was like, you know, the, the new age of the, you know, the Kung Fu movies coming in, karate movies coming in, all these, uh, you know, Asian action movies uh, coming in and, and, and influenced me probably more than like, but, you know, I always like watching the Kung Fu movies and boxing. That was my thing. I, I do love fighting, <laughs> but it, it's the, the practice, you know, it's just the, the discipline, the getting up early in the morning and going running to condition your body and your mind and, and the development of your, yourself. I think that's what attracted a lot of people uh, to, to inquire about learning what I was doing. And, and that's what got me into teaching. It helped me socially, you know, build up my confidence. Also had me, de it developed a respect for other people. Last 60 seconds. Come on. I pace it out, pace it out, looking good. I remember when I was younger and I used to watch, uh, read these, uh, these magazines, you know, like Inside Kung Fu and Inside Karate and things like that. And I would see uh, these martial artists who of course were, were older than me, but they, you know, they were instructors and, and, and somewhere in wheelchairs. And I was like, man, he's actually teaching self-defense from a wheelchair. You know, and, and I had some I had respect for that. And as I grew older and I see people with problems and even now I'm, I'm, I'm developing problems, but I can see past that. Even though there may be some limitations, I try to still push myself to do what I can do and not think about the limitations that I have. And that's what I try to encourage other people to do also. You know, we all have limitations, of course, we're human but you know, to try to exceed it, to push it, you know, that's all we can ask for. Keep going. Got to push it. Hands up a little bit, Mike. Hands up, there we go. At my actual first school was a Kung Fu school. My instructor was uh, Sifu Craig Hall. We learned how to fight. We did boxing, kickboxing, Submission training, we did everything. And this was in the 80s. Keep going, come on. You gotta meet him. You gotta meet him. Come on. What I wanna teach people, what I've learned, is not so much as like the forms and things like that, but actually how to use it in actual combat situations. So I tell people, I'm not teaching you to fight. Come on, come on, come on, here we go. Go, come on, this is it. This is it, how do we finish? How do we finish? Come on, go! You know, I, I just want to see where you are and how we can develop you to become more self-defense minded. That's why I not only teach technique in, in how to fight, but also conditioning, because a lot of people lack that. Going back to when I was younger, that's what helped me out a lot, my conditioning. You know, as a fighter, I didn't want anybody to outlast me, you know. You might be more superior in technique, or you may be faster and a little stronger, but you're not gonna outlast me. <laughs> I did well in it. Go! All right, back to it, push-ups, let's go! Come on, we're working today.
when I first started teaching at a recreation center. I never thought I would teach, because at that point in time, I was only teaching adults. And then uh, someone asked me some, uh, something about, you know, kids, and, and I said, you know, let me try it. Let me try it. Go! Slip, slip, two, one, two. Roll, roll, hop a cut. Hook, double jab, step back, step back, step back, one, two. Hook, up a cut, double jab, power shot. My man. And I, I, it was a blast, man. I, I, I never, I never uh, thought I would have uh, that uh, much fun teaching uh, a kid's uh, class because I didn't think I had the patience uh, when, I, when I first started teaching at the rec center. And I saw this girl, she was, you know, she's a little chubby and she was like, you know, she was shy and, and she wasn't confident about anything, you know? And, and I'm telling you, man, it wasn't even a month she was flowing. She was doing up. She looked beautiful in, in what she was doing, what I was showing her. I was like, I, sh I showed her. I, and she's doing, man, you would think she came out of a kung fu movie. Man, you come right out of a comic book. It's that, it's that, little, that little spark. And it's funny because other kids saw it too. And it was like a competition with them going on. They all wanted to outdo one another, you know, but it was fun competition. That positive change sparked something, you know? And, I, and, and that's what made me want to teach, really. I, I said, okay, I'm doing kids. Hey, come on, no singing. Speed, go! Come on, keep it going, keep it going. My thing is, I, I was a correctional officer um, at one point in my, in my life, and, and uh, I seen the things that could happen inside these, uh, you know, the jails. And my, my goal is to keep these kids out of there. I had to be a psychiatrist, I had to be a counselor, I had to be, you know, all these things, and it, it, it worked. You know, I, I, it trained me to be a better teacher. I know, come on, you're almost done. Come on, all right, jumping jacks. I know it's not a, a, a possible to save everyone. I know that's not gonna happen. Come on. But if I can just come get on. one or two one. or three, Routine. you know, that's, that's my goal, to see that that's, they have options. And it, it makes me sad that as a kid, I had these recreation centers that to go to, to help me out, you know, the, to, and they, they don't have that now. And that shouldn't be, you know, that shouldn't be. Our kids should have better opportunities than we did, but it's not happening. Three, two, off the ground, we gotta do it again to everybody do it right. If this can be an out for them, if this could be a place where, okay, this is gonna be a, a what's the word I'm looking for? It's a, a refuge where they can say, hey, I can go to the gym and, and I can learn something and I can, you know, hit on the bags and I, I, I'll be that spot. That's, that's what I'm here for for them to do better. And I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> oh, y'all trying to kill me. What is going on here? I'm gonna die in the gym. I'm not saying literally, but this is my life. I, I found my calling I, I, a long time ago. And I'm gonna do the best I can to, to uh, help people, you know, especially the children. Let the world know where we at. Left hook three six six. Where we at? Left hook three six six. Where we at? Left hook three six six. Where we at? Left hook three six six. One, two, three. Left hook three six six. Yeah! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, this is Coach Mark Moore from Left Hook 360 Boxing and MMA. I'm reaching out to you right now because we're in need of uh, your help. 
We just acquired a boxing uh, ring not too long ago, but the ring is actually missing equipment. Now, this ring is for our kids, you know, our kids who want to compete. In order to compete, they have to be familiar with the, the environment, and the environment right now is being the ring. Now, what we're missing in the ring is like uh, the skirt, canvas, ropes, some padding, and things of that nature. I actually listed on the, compa the camp campaign that we're running. But right now, we really, really need your help. And also, I invite you to come down to the gym and see for yourself the positive changes that you can make within this gym. You'll see it within the kids. You'll see it within the gym itself. So uh, I'll give you more information. And uh, hopefully you can reach down and just, it could be a small donation. We're not looking for nothing grand. But if you can, everything, every little bit helps. And I appreciate your time. Thank you. I'm Coach Mark Moore. See you soon.